Hi, my name is Joni Isinger. Welcome to my channel. Please go to my website, joniswhitelighthealing.com, for more information about me. If you'd like to schedule a session, contact me through my website. You could find me on LinkedIn, SoundCloud, and Facebook. Here I am on YouTube. You can like, comment, and share my videos. Please, in the comments, if you have any requests for videos you'd like for me to make, let me know. And if you haven't subscribed, press the bell all icon and maybe you'll receive notifications. It seems I am shadow banned and that folks sometimes get notifications of when I put out a video. With that being said, I went in and I asked Spirit what video I could do today. And what I received was, can you write yourself during these inverted times. What does that mean? Well, it appears that during these new earth transition times where evil comes up to be seen and dismantled and released for the collective, that there is an inversion taking place. The powers that were have done a very good job through the ages, turning our minds upside down. And it's through sound, and it's through visuals, it's through teachings, it's through architecture, it's through color, it's the way that organizations are created, etc. So we have been duped, we have been manipulated. Why has this gone on? Well, we, um, we were a planet of um, exemplary um, fashion, and it was invaded. Um, we could call this an AI simulation, a video game, uh, a plane for learning. And that as a result of this virus that got into the system, we have been manipulated and controlled. Well, we're at the end of the video game, and it's a win. Yet there's a lot that needs to still be purged. So at the end of this video game, it's very heightened. If you haven't noticed, it's kind of wackadoodle. And the powers that were have taken every opportunity that they can to flip things upside down. Very much so to invert truth, to turn the cross upside down, to turn the star upside down, to turn gender upside down to turn law and health and intuition and all of our common um, practices of that are sane and, and reasonable to us. Why? To pull back, to hold on to the people who could break free. Therefore, we are brave, brave souls to have chosen to incarnate at this time, and we have the opportunity to take a look at this and write ourselves. What is to write oneself to make ourselves come out of the inversion and to stand tall and see and know and feel? Okay. So you might ask, well, I feel good. I'm, I'm not twisted and inverted. Okay, that's okay. And if you're feeling good, I'm glad we all are to feel good. That's the aim. I suggest doing some research. And if something feels uncomfortable in any which way, shape, or form, just sit with that and ask yourself, what might be the trouble? What is this about? What am I feeling? See whether you can identify what it is that causes you dis-ease, discomfort. Oftentimes there's something up in the situation and your goal, responsibility, your soul's desire is to see truth. It is to write an inversion, to turn something back to truth, to light, to centeredness, to love. Okay, so an example, um, on Facebook, uh, a young man who I did a session on a few years ago um, had posted that it's very, very difficult for him to disengage from social media 
that he wishes to be a free thinker. And then I posted in response that he's a brave soul to have come in um, where the powers uh, taught and trained his generation to rely on social media for communication, education, et cetera. And that if he doesn't feel comfortable with that inversion, he has control and he can write himself and it takes practice. Every day you stand in your power, you claim your sovereignty, that you are in control of self and you proceed forward in the present and that you have dominion over self. And if there is something that does not feel comfortable to you, whether it's a sound, a visual, a teaching, a comment, a concept, you can offer yourself permission to question it and to decide whether you wish to accept it and adopt it into your um, being. We all have that right. Um, people talk about the mind and thinking, and that's something that we do have control over. Um, there are powers out there that are trying to control our thinking through subliminals and frequencies and repetition and spells. Yes. So we are to strengthen ourselves, to be our best friend, to strive to see and know and feel truth 24-7. Um, it's a full-time job. And if you love self that much, you will take on that task and you will reclaim your you-ness and anything that is inverted within, anything that is inverted around you can be turned around. Does this mean that you might be cutting things, stopping things, eliminating things? It might be. That's part of healing. If you're moving up that, I call it the Tetris ladder, if you're moving, that's a video game reference. If you're moving up, um, sometimes there has to be an elimination in order to advance. So writing an inversion is work, but it doesn't have to be painful. With your soul's, your heart's desire to see truth, you will feel grateful, you will feel peace, you will feel joy, you will feel lighter as a result of your bringing yourself back to what is your birthright, which is centeredness and love and truth and being feeling the connectedness with spirit, source, God, creator, the oneness. I know that this is a short and sweet video. I just wanted to put that out there. And I know there's so much more to say about each topic that I do a video on, but I know that people um, have a lot of things to do. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, any comments, please feel free to put them down in the comment section. I will see you again. Bye, y'all.